What we are going to do today is we are going to create a mailing list in Excel with the slicer application for the table and then we are going to use them for mailing lists for a mail merge on Word. So first of all we have entered into this screen here we have thousands of names of people and their address and the rest of the postal or the city. So what we're going to do is we're going to click anywhere in the field here and we're going to go insert table and it's going to suggest which fields you would like to have in your table. And so we're going to click my table has headers here so that you will put the top line as uh, the headers and not not data. And so we'll click on that and we'll say okay. Okay, so now that we have a table on here, we can go to table tools on the top here. And then we're going to select insert slicer. An insert slicer allows us to choose a slicer field that we can sort sort the table by. So I would like to sort it by the city because I don't want to send information out to all the cities. I just like to select send it out to one city. So let's click city and we'll say OK. So you see on our slicer thing here now that we have all the lists of possible cities that we have here. So I am going to select uh, I will select with task win. And so these are the people that are the addresses that are available in Wetaskiwin only. We would like to send our mail out list to just the people in Wetaskiwin. So because Word will not only see the, v the ones that you have selected for Wetaskiwin, it will see all the thousands of names that you have in here. What we're going to do now is we are going to select this table the ones that we have in Wetaskiwin and we're going to go and we're going to copy it we'll go control C and we're going to go to another another page where I've named select and what we're going to do is we're going to click on that cell and we're going to press enter and that will put all our addresses here that are just for the city of Wetaskiwin so we've got that ready it's it's in the it's in the sheet called select in this file. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our word file here. And once we get there, we're going to select mailings on the top here. And what we're going to do is click on the select recipients. And so I'm going to choose from an existing list. So it has it gives you the option of what the different uh, sheets you have here and so we have put the ones that we want in called select and so we'll select that one and we'll say OK so what we're going to do is we are going to insert merge field and so we're going to insert name name is selected here and we'll go insert and we'll close this, we'll press enter and we'll go insert merge field and we'll select address and we'll insert and close this and we'll press enter again and we'll one, one more time insert merge field and we'll select city and insert and close now we're going to put a comma and a space and then we're going to insert another merge field and we're going to put province or state and we'll go insert and close now we have uh, got quite a bit of space between this so let's select these these three uh, lines that we have here and we're going to right click and we're going to select paragraph so um, we would like the spacing to be single and we would like the spacing to have zero, zero point space afterwards so we'll 
bring this down to zero, and then we'll say OK. So we're all set up here now. So what we're going to do is finish and merge on your, on your toolbar here. Click on Finish and Merge. And so we're going to edit the individuals because we don't want to print them yet. And so I'm going to select all and I'm going to say OK. So here are, we can scroll down them. And here are our list of people and it's their only design, they're only going to the town of Wetaskiwin. So we have sorted out the number of people from our list of thousands just, and just sending out mail to the Wetaskiwin area. So that would be our mail merge with Excel Slicer.